Hey, what's up, Coach? Welcome back to the podcast. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to be answering a question from a coach. He's in California. His name's Robert. Robert asked, he said, hey, Ben, I'm thinking about partnering with one of my old uh, college basketball teammates, and I'm thinking about uh, setting up a partnership with him so we can go into our training business together instead of me just doing it by myself. Uh, can you give me some advice? And um, first, the short answer is uh, <laughs> there's a funny commercial that uh, this guy impersonates uh, Dr. Evil from Austin Powers, and, and he says, how about new? <laughs> All right. So my short answer is no, uh, you should not uh, partner with an old teammate. Um, and here's why. So first, the, you have to ask yourself a couple of questions. What does, what does this person bring to the table that I can't bring to the table? Normally, when someone's starting a business with someone else, like both people are brand new. Both people don't know what they're doing. Uh, both people are trying to figure things out together. And a, in my opinion, like having someone else along this journey with you is going to be a liability at the beginning. Because what if they don't have as much skin in the game? What if they don't care about it as much as you do? Now you're constantly thinking about what they're doing. Right. And on top of that, if this is a teammate in, in this scenario, that means that you're friends with them. And I can tell you from personal experience, because I have already lived through this, you don't want to start or go into business with someone that you're friends with. Um, because when money is on the line, what happens is your emotions get in the way and now you're thinking in your head, all right, well, you know, when, when we start making more money, how is this going to be set up? What's the percentage split? Um, and because you're friends with that person, you can't make uh, smart business decisions because your emotions will always get in the way. You don't want to hurt that person's feelings. You want to still be friends with them, right? And really the last thing I'll say about it is... When you partner with someone, they have to be able to bring something to the table that you just, you don't want to do, or you just aren't good at. And there are a couple of coaches I've talked to that do have partners, but they didn't, they didn't start their business with their best buddy from high school. Um, they started their business by themselves, and then they started bringing on either other coaches or partners who could do things that the coach, the, the business owner just simply does not want to do anymore. And in my head, that makes sense, right? Makes sense to prove, prove your product before you start to bring anyone else onto what you do. Like you have to believe in what you do a thousand percent, right? And to start something with someone who might not have the same mindset as you, I promise you that's going that's going to be a bigger detriment to your business than, than you could possibly imagine, right? Because I already know how hard it is to run a business by yourself. Running a business and starting something with someone else, I promise you, it's going to be a lot more stressful than you think, right? And if you have any sort of equity percentage that you're giving away, well, right off the bat, you know, $1,000 that comes into the business is now split in two, Right. And, you know, you have to look at your your financial situation. Is that something that that you want to be a part of? You have to look at your family situation. Uh, you know, how much money do you need to generate every month? This is why oftentimes it's going to be better to do things by yourself at the beginning. And if you do partner with someone, they need to be able to do something that you just possibly cannot do or you do not want to do. And they have to be world class at that. Otherwise, you should find somebody else to do it. All right. So that's it for today's message. Hopefully this helps. Um, guys, any other questions that you have, text me at 210-960-5771. That's where I uh, get these questions. That's how I connect with coaches. That's it. See you later.